Hey guys, this month for August in my creative year, our topic is reduce, reuse, and recycle. And although this is the review video, I am going to base my review on that topic. Now, I, as you saw, if you watched my video last month and you've been following my YouTube channel for any length of time, know I, <coughs> excuse me, I keep most of my supplies binned or in drawers. There's a reason for that. So things have a designated space like postcards and postcard size card stock. Oops, there we go. Um, this bin is full. What does that mean? Why is that important? That means I'm not going to get any more because the bin is full. So I'm not going to just go buy it because it's on sale. I don't need it. I don't have the space for it. And my overstock or backup stock can be held at the craft store. <laughs> Um, the same thing goes for other small um, or not so small collections of things. Um, this is a drawer of tickets. I actually have to clean some of these drawers out because some of these drawers are too big for the collection or I don't use what's in there enough. Um, these are stencil waste from my stent manufactured stencil line. Um, this is a drawer of just playing cards. I probably have way too many playing cards, but the drawer has a lot in it, and I don't ever need to acquire any more, probably in my lifetime, because this drawer is full. I said have a designated space for it. My favorite things to um, use in my art room for this are the Sterilite or Iris Cart drawers and some kind of plastic bin. These are the Y-Weave bins from Target. Dollar Tree has a similar bin. These are a little thicker and sturdier, of course, more expensive. Use what you have, but try to think of not um, having too much. It's okay to use packaging and save things that would normally go in the trash to use in your art, for instance. I have these. These are the packages from a friend of mine who has a very bad back, her lidocaine patches. At some point, I'm going to take all these little pouches, and they're like, she cuts the top off, so it's like an envelope, and I'm going to make them into a journal. They'd be really cool. But my bin here is full where I keep those. I don't need to acquire any more. I have a drawer down here that has product packaging in it. The bin is full. I don't need to keep any more. Um, so keep a little bit, but don't keep too much. You can go overboard. I used to have a lot more tissue paper. This still looks like a lot, but I save a little bit of tissue. Things that are interesting. The bin is full. I don't need any more. If I do come across something that's new and unique, then to fit it in the bin, something else has to go. So although I want you all to use found objects, use what you have, use what you find in your product packaging, use what you find for free like paint chips, I don't want you to save too much. I don't want you to have so much in your craft room that you can't create. That's that's <laughs> that's the opposite of where we need to go with this. So think carefully about what you're saving, find a designated space for it, and save only what fits in that space. Use it up and then save some more. That's my tip and review for you this week. I hope that it comes in handy. I am going to link some of my favorite storage bins, including the Y-Weave uh, bins, the Sterilite drawers, not only the three drawers. I'm going to do that so you don't get dizzy. But these five drawer ones, this is where all my small bits are. Um, so, for instance, this one's full of pa plastic figurines and game and game pieces. I don't need any more. I have a small drawer for them that's going to be plenty for me for probably my lifetime, and I can easily find it. It's easy to locate. I don't need to save any more. Um, I have a drawer of just found like hardware pieces. I have a drawer of bottle caps. I don't need any more. That's plenty. Um, so. I'll, I'll include a link in the description of some of my favorite storage um, solutions, including these drawers. They're, these come in three and five. I like these are the five. I like the five. Um, and uh, the Y-Weave bins, the larger Sterilite drawers, and also these. this here, this is an iris cart. This is a seven drawer cart. They actually have one that has these little drawers all the way down that's got ten. I like it with the three bigger drawers at the bottom, but I'll include these in the description below for you. I want you all to really think about what you have, why you have it, what you're 
using it for if you're going to ever use it. How long have you been holding on to it without using it? I mean, that's the other thing. I recently did some more purging because I found a stash of stuff I had for an eternity I wasn't going to use. It needed to go away. Um, so maybe pass it on to a friend who can use it or donate it to charity or a craft uh, group or a school. But um, think about reducing the amount of stuff you have in your collection so that you can better use what you do have. And um, recycling is a great place to find art parts. It's more unique than anything you're going to find at the craft store or the art store. Um, use your product packaging, your um, boxes, your plastic. Um, what did I just put this in here because I'm running low. This is the little net bag from Cheese. These are from my tea that I drink and the little labels have uh, quotes on them. So use what you have. Um, that you just come across in everyday life. It makes interesting journal pages. That's my tip for you this week, and I hope you're having fun doing my creative year. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the uh, video below. You can join my creative year if you haven't yet by following the link in the description. There is a link called Linktree down there. You click on it, you're going to find every place I am on the internet, including my creative year, So, which is a Facebook teaching group. So anyway... That's it for right now. Go out, make some great art, rethink what you have in your stash, and um, are you really using it? Because if you're not, maybe you need to pass it on. That's it for today. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. <music>